welcome back to my channel. I'm Prisma Healy and thank you for clicking on my video. So today we are out for Valentine's Day and we are currently at the Palm. So I thought I'd do a little video for you, show you what food they've got, what cocktails they've got. You know the drill, so the same thing and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> at the Palm in Liberty Brown and for mains we have decided on kebabs with halloumi and fresh falafel for me and nachos to start and then what's your main bag? The ribs? What? Ribs? Four out of ribs. Yeah. So basically in the Palm it is made up of four different restaurants and that is the Wilderness, Pineapple Cove, Tropic Cuba and the Wilderness. And we chose to eat at Liberty Brown because it was more to our taste palette. So this is the kebab I was talking about with the halloumi and falafel. And I've gone for the posh salad without olives. And I'm thinking the sweet chili cream sauce. But I might choose the line, so we'll see. There's quite a few veggie options if you are vegetarian as well. So you've got a few pastas, you've got fajitas, you've got the vegan fish and chips, but I think it's with a banana, like literally says with a banana, so I don't know, I don't know about experimenting with that. And then you've got your aubergine steak, and a few different bits and bobs that are quite nice for veggies, so. So these are the nachos we got for our starters. It was really nice, like they're just big dirty nachos, which is what everybody wants when they order a plate of nachos. So they've got guac, sour cream, um, jalapenos and salsa just the standard toppings because we like them all and we really enjoyed them next is the halloumi and falafel kebab that I was telling you about it was really nice with the salad I was expecting different presentation but it still tasted good I probably wouldn't order food there again but it's fine you know I could have probably made it at home and then there's the full rack of ribs which my partner said was quite dry so for food we're not too impressed but we'll see what the cocktails taste like Okay, so this is the cocktail menu, yes, and it because it's like partnered or the same, owned by the same company or something going on with like the Holy Hobo. If you watch that video, then you'll already recognize a few of these cocktails. If not, the link will be in the description. And it's also got similar cocktails to As You Like It and a few different places in town. So we'll see what they are like. I like the sound of them. Um, this fish one because I don't really get it like I've never seen it before and it does say a real fish so <laughs> surely it isn't. Okay so this is the first cocktail we got this is called the swim and lemonade and it is actually supposed to be served in like a plastic bag you know it's supposed to be fairground themed so it would be like fishes in it in a plastic bag which I'm really quite worried about it's just because it went out of plastic bags. And then we've got jelly beans in it, not fish, so it's, it's an interesting one. It tastes really good, but the flavor's lovely, but presentation was good. Yeah. First off, what's this called? Sour Patch. Where's the Sour Patch kids? No. Alright, second of all, we bit these cost the same. Look at the amount! What is that about? I breathed in, it's already gone. And to top it all off here, my boo wanted a bag. Listen, they ran out of bags. How do you run out of bags? Check the menu. Bag. And fish. No bag, no fish. Yeah. <laughs> no sour patch kids. Yeah. No sour patch kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he said it. Okay, so for the second round, I got the Mai Tai, but the only option in the menu is a spiced Mai Tai, and I don't like spiced rum, so I just got normal white rum. And this is the cherry sour. And it, this, what's this kind of vodka? Mm -hmm. This one's a cherry vodka puree. cherry puree, and mine's obviously rum. So this is the our next round. I'll let you know what it tastes like. If you're planning on visiting, I would definitely stick to the cocktails you know because they seem to be slacking a little bit on the Palm's own cocktails and not coming through on the presentation and stuff. So yeah, just stick to what you know.
Okay, so this is our next round of drinks. I got the Violet and Blood Orange Sling. So it's basically what it says. It's got Violet Gin with Blood Orange Gin. Fresh lemon and it's got a lot of fever tree out of our tonic in. It's very sweet and syrupy. It's a nice drink if you prefer the fruitier flavors. And then uh, we've also got, what was the name of it? We've got the cherry smoked old fashioned. So this is how it comes, like under this big smoky thing. <laughs> and then it smells like fire when it comes out. Okay, this brings us to the end of the video. I did film an outro, but I've changed my mind since then. And I wouldn't personally recommend going to the palm for food because the food's nothing really special and you can probably make a lot of it at home. So when you eat out, you'd like to eat something a bit new and special. Um, the drinks are fine. Like they make the cocktails nice, but the presentation doesn't really come through. So yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment, but I mean, I would go back just for drinks because I love the location, but in regards to everything else, I was a bit disappointed.